Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to use an existing post inside your Facebook ads for more social proof. Now you probably wanna do this for a couple of reasons. The main one is because if you're running the same ad and you're running it in many different ad sets, if someone likes an ad on one ad set, it won't show up on the other. And what's better is that you actually have the same ad in all the ad sets. That way, if someone, if you get, let's say five likes on one ad set, and then 10 likes on the other, rather than them being separate, you could have those, all of those likes and all of those comments within one ad. So the five people that liked it plus the 10 people that liked it, it will show up within one ad, resulting in 15 people liking it, which will basically give you a lot of social proof. So when you're running these ads, all the likes, all the comments are in one place. So I'm gonna go ahead exactly and show you that. And I'm also gonna give you a trick towards the end, which I would highly recommend, which I think will actually help you really establish social proof within these ads. So first thing you wanna do is to actually go ahead and do this. You wanna go ahead and jump into the ad account that you're going to go ahead and uh, run this. So um, first thing you need to do is actually identify where the actual ad that you wanna use. So we'll go ahead and find that ad. So we'll go ahead over here and go ahead and find the ad. As you can see here, for me, it would be this ad. Here we have 299 comments and we have 971 shares. And make sure you watch till the end because I'm gonna show you exactly how we got all of these different shares. And you could do the same thing for your ad. But once you uh, actually are on the actual existing post that you wanna use, and uh, to be able to go ahead and use this post in future ads, what you need to do is go here to the top right-hand corner where these three darts are click on them and then go to more options and then click on manage Facebook comments. And when you click on that, it's gonna go ahead and open up the Facebook page where that exact ad is. So as you can see here, we have reached a million people. We have uh, 174,000 engagements, 22,000 likes, uh, 299 comments, 971 shares. And I'm gonna show you exactly how we were able to get this for literally about 50 bucks. So once you actually identified the actual post, what you wanna do is keep this window open and then go back to the actual ads manager where you wanna create the ad. So let's say we're creating a brand new uh, campaign. What you wanna do is click on create campaign, choose your objective, and you'd basically go through the same process that you would go through when you're actually running an ad. So you'd go here, you would name this, you would uh, obviously put in your audience, you would come down to the ad. Now, instead of actually uh, creating a new ad, here's what you need to do. So first of all, let me go ahead and uh, input these real quick. You need to input the URL as well as choose the Facebook page. So we'll just go ahead and pick the URL. And we'll go ahead and paste it in here. Great. And then we'll hit add preview. Um, and now again, like I said, what you need to do is go down to the section where you're about to create an ad. And instead of clicking create ad, what you want to do is click on use existing post, right? Now to use an existing post, you can come in here and click select post. But as you will see, depending on how many posts you have, you're literally going to have hundreds of different posts. We literally have over 2000 different posts. So it's going to take so much time to actually filter through this. Rather, what we want to do is go by post ID. And how do we get the post ID? Well, that's exactly why I told you to keep this page open. What you do here is you come up here to the top of the URL. And as you can see here, the 10 to 15 numbers right after post, that is your post ID. So you want what you want to do is copy that and then come back here to the ad. And where it says enter post ID, go ahead and click that and then enter the post ID, hit the check mark. And as you will see here, it will populate over here. So bam, as you can see here now, we have created, or we're using the same exact post and we already have all the social proof. 299 comments, 971 shares, and over 400,000 views. So now when we run the ad, everyone that's gonna see the ad is gonna see this right here. Now, let's say you create multiple ad sets. You would do the same thing. If we go ahead and duplicate this ad set, again, what you wanna do is go to existing post and then go ahead and go to enter post ID copy the post ID from the actual Facebook post, and then go ahead and paste it. So again, to do this, what you wanna do is find the actual, uh, the actual post that you wanna use, click on these three buttons right here, go to more options, Facebook comments, manage Facebook comments. Once that opens up, you wanna copy the last numbers right after post, and then go to the actual ad that you wanna run, click on existing posts, enter post ID, and then actually go ahead and enter it and it'll populate here. Now, all of these different engagements for literally less than 50 bucks, I'm gonna show you exactly how we were able to do that. We went ahead and we created a uh, campaign for this client and as you can see here, this is a conversion and then this is video views. So over here, we created a video views. You can do video views or you can even do 
engagement post. But regardless of the fact, what we did to get all of these different views that you see right here is that we basically went ahead and created a video views campaign. And then within this video views campaign, we went ahead and posted this exact ad as a video views campaign rather than a convergence. Because if you do conversions, you're not going to get as much engagement. But what we did was we first ran a video views campaign and I'll show you guys the metrics. The cost per video views was super low. I'll show you guys the exact metrics. So as you can see here, the cost per through play, which is about 30 second play, is 0 0.00004, which is just insane. I don't even know how to read that number. But if we go ahead and take a look at how much we spent, the total that we spent was $60. So we get we spent $60 over a period of about 10, 11 days to get all of these different views. Over 1 million people reached. We got 400,000 views, more than 400,000 views. We got 971 uh, shares and then 299 comments. So again, we ran this as a video views campaign, which then we used in a conversions campaign, right? As an existing post, because now basically the people that we go ahead and we show them this ad, uh, what they're going to see is they're going to see all of these different engagements it raises our chances of actually closing, uh, you know, the person that's seeing this. Now, if you look here, the uh, website conversion value is only uh, one hundred and five dollars. Uh, although we spent uh, one hundred and eighty dollars, this is not one hundred percent accurate. We actually have a huge upsell. Um, so this is actually over a thousand dollars in website conversion value. But that is, guys, basically how you can get all of these different views um, and all this different engagement, which then you can use as an existing post to run within your ad. And again, if you're running multiple ad sets, the same procedure would happen. You would follow the same steps that I just went over. I hope this video was helpful for you guys. If you liked it, go ahead and check out the other videos on the link below. I think they'll be helpful for you. Hope you enjoyed this and I'll see you in the next one.